you know, part twos are never better than part ones. I'm sorry. There's there's just no way. They never are. I don't I mean, only rare occasions, a part two or a second coming of or anything. They're not they're just not as good as part ones. I mean, you remember when Coca Cola tried to come out with Coca Cola the new Coca Cola? Didn't work. Everybody wanted the Coca Cola classic back. I mean, I remember in basketball when they was trying to get a new Michael Jordan and they was talking about this guy Harold Minor. They called him Baby Jordan. That didn't work out either. There's been a lot of people trying to do part twos to things that don't work out. Even a few years ago with our own Washington football team. Remember when Trent and the guys were calling themselves the Hogs 2.0? They were never nowhere near close to the Hog 2.0. But it's been a few part twos that actually was better than part one. If you're a Godfather enthusiast, then you know that Godfather 2 is a better picture than Godfather 1, and Godfather 1 is also a classic. That's what we would hope with these guys. Or we would even hope that they would even be in the same ballpark as the original guys. So when I ask next posse, I'm not meaning are they going to do what the, the other posse did. I mean, two Super Bowl rings, each had a thousand yards. That's a big task. That's a huge task to ask from a corpse. But potentially, I think this core can be just as dangerous on the football field. I really do. And when I say potentially, I mean live up to their potential. We already know what Terry McLaurin brings to the table. Terry McLaurin brings Terry McLaurin to the table. And Curtis Samuel brings Curtis Samuel to the table. All they have to do is bring their normal selves to the table. Plus the rookie lives up to his potential. This core can be as dangerous as the original. Maybe not better. Maybe not the accolades. But they can be just as dangerous. They really can. I mean, the first posse, it didn't matter. Like I said, it didn't matter if it was Doug Williams. It didn't matter if it was Jay Schrader. It didn't matter if it was Mark Rippon. Those guys, at any given time on the football field, can get in the end zone. And I believe this, this core right here has that same potential. I really do. I think this core has the same potential. Not saying that they're going to do it, but potentially I, th I think so. And like a lot of you be wanting quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers and things like that. Could you imagine if Aaron Rodgers had these guys? And you know, like we always talk about Fitz Magic, Fitz Tragic. Can you imagine a Fitz Magic day with these three guys? You know when Fitz throws those 400-yard games? Because we always talk about the Fitz Tragic part. But imagine... The Fitz magic part with this trio right here. So I think, I think he can. I think, I think this core can be as good, but I'm not saying accolade wise, I'm not because I'm a posse guy. I came up in this era. I remember these guys. We were dangerous. You, you shut one, the other's gonna destroy you. You, it's, it was damn. Only way you can stop this. Is, is the sack the court. Quarterback pressure is the only way that you can stop the original posse. I'm serious. I'm serious. And, and, and it, I mean, it was, you had to have a Lawrence Taylor or, or Jerome Brown or what's the minister of defense? Reggie White. You had to have defenses like that. I mean, I, I even remember the posse doing things like in 87. Was it 80? No, 86. When they the vaunted Chicago Bears, they just went in and just straight up manhandled that defense. They had no answer. And at that point in the NFL, that was the best defense that anybody's ever seen. And and they just went all over the top of it. Went all over the top on it. Went all over the top on um Buddy Ryan as well in Philly. And then we did have that time where they broke our court. Like I said, to stop those guys, you got to break the quarterback. And I think this team right here, with these receivers right here, potentially can be that. I really do. I mean, they're different. They're different core, and it's a different time. Like Curtis Samuel, he's a different guy. He's like a weapons X. He does a lot of different things. So if he puts all of his things like he normally gonna do, put all his put all his game together, and we get the best out of him, and we get the normal Terry. And the potential of Naomi, 
man man we might be cooking with grease man but i just want to have a little fun man hit that like hit that subscribe hit that share hit that bell more contents on the way i just want to just do a little quickie just have a little fun hell to the football team